How has the COVID-19 pandemic impacted laboratory testing? Hi, I'm Robin Patel. I'm the immediate past president of the American Society for Microbiology and the Elizabeth P. and Robert E. Allen Professor of Individualized Medicine, Professor of Microbiology and Professor of Medicine at the Mayo Clinic. Since the early spring of this year, clinical laboratories have been experiencing supply shortages related to COVID-19 testing, including COVID-19 test kits, reagents, and or machines. But now shortages are also affecting diagnostic testing for infections other than SARS-CoV-2. Laboratories are reporting shortages of all types of supplies, including culture and transport media, swabs, pipettes, pipette tips, and collection tubes, just to name a few. These limitations are hindering testing for a variety of non-COVID-19 related diseases, including but not limited to sexually transmitted infections, pneumonia, cystic fibrosis, urinary tract infections, gastroenteritis, and surgical site infections. The impact of such supply shortages could be catastrophic and lead to inadequacies in patient treatment and care, ineffective infectious diseases management, and increases in antibacterial resistance if something does not change soon. The American Society for Microbiology, or ASM, is committed to helping address these supply chain issues. In partnership with the Association for Supply Chain Management, ASM has developed an online platform to monitor shortages and demand for COVID-19 and non-COVID-19 testing supplies in real time. ASM intends to illuminate the problem and facilitate solutions to ongoing, unprecedented, and ever-changing shortages by collecting and making this data publicly available. It is ASM's goal that this initiative will help make critical changes to the United States testing strategy for COVID-19 and other infectious diseases moving forward.